So I'm one of the directors of the Institute of Coastal Research of the Helmholtz Center in Geestach. Geestach, that is some 30 kilometers southeast of Hamburg, right at the River Elbe. It is one of the federal research laboratories in Germany. Uh, and uh, we have this Institute of Coastal Research in that Helmholtz Center. Uh, in that center, we have uh, different groups, and I'm leading a group with the name of uh, uh, systems analysis and modeling. So we're interested in regional systems, mostly geophysical systems, that is related to climate, that is statistics of weather, storm surges, waves, and things of that sort, which are of importance also for uh, various applications. Uh, so uh, we, the main thing is that we try to document how have the conditions changed in the recent past, say the six, last 60 years or so, and how may this change in future because of climate change, but also because of other modifications. And this is knowledge which is relevant for applications, for coastal engineers, for understanding what is going on by the public, for instance, um, also for companies who want to use uh, resources such as wind, um, for wind energy, uh, in the region. So we have uh, some link to various stakeholders, and uh, therefore we do something what we call regional climate service, that is, we are trying to bring together what is the available knowledge about climate and climate change in uh, our region, but also in the entire Baltic Sea region, um, and uh, then describe how was the change, how may it be, and finally engage in a dialogue with various stakeholders about what they think the problem is, what their needs are, what the knowledge lack is, and so forth, but also uh, to understand a bit the socioeconomic uh, dimension of the problem. I think it is really one of the major problems uh, that we have. Uh, we have this, what we call post-normal situation of our type of research that is, uh, it is needed for decision-making in the public arena or the, also maybe in individual companies. Um, but the knowledge we have is uncertain and uh, it is in conflict with, uh, sometimes at least in conflict with certain values, societal values. Um, and uh, on the other hand, also decisions have to be taken. Uh, that is, our work takes place in a um, uh, social cultural environment. And to do that properly, we need to know what this environment is, how it functions, and how we are ourselves part of. And uh, if we think of your, uh, your study program, this is dealing with, I understand, with just this interface of bringing the social dimension together and the cultural dimension together with the natural science dimension. And I would say I see a general lack of people qualified to talk across this boundary. So I welcome this very much. And we need much more people who are competent to understand that there are not only scientific constructions, but also social constructions, and that the scientific constructions are to some extent culturally constructed. What I would find particularly useful for us is to have young people uh, who would join us on a daily basis to be with us and observe what we do, ask us why do we what, for what purpose, what is the meaning, why do we think we know more now or not. So who are critical joining us in our knowledge producing process. In a sense, one could say these are mirrors, where, which allows us to do some better self-reflection about our own practice. And we got the impression that if we have young people visiting us, they're usually asking questions which we do not ask ourselves because we have forgotten about them.